Hi and thank you for allowing us to see you this video. I want to be showing you a few tips on how by improving your website you can get more exposure, outright your competition and of course get more patience. So uh, let's start here with your website, how to pull out. And one of the things that I always recommend is to add more relevant content. And not just images but more uh, wording. And when you add more content, in this case, uh, you need to add the keywords that you need to be found for. And they, in these keywords, they need to be placed in specific areas of your website so Google can actually start uh, tracing them. So, that is on the homepage. Uh, keep in mind that the more content you have on the homepage, the better. But it also, the same principle applies to sub pages. For example, um, state of the art diagnostics. Um, you seem to have information here, but my recommendation would be again, add content that you want to be found for, with the keywords that you want to be found for. And I'll show you this, um, let's take a look in the back end of your website. Uh, you're being found for 189 keywords. This is bringing you around 11 visits a month, and you have around 550 backlinks. Now, what are backlinks? Backlinks are other sites that are mentioned in your website and will give you power, oops, sorry, will give you power so you can be found uh, on Google. This will increase your domain rating and the URL rating. Now, keep in mind that not all links are created equal, so you can have hundreds and hundreds of backlinks, but if they're not powerful, if they're not relevant, and most important, if they're not targeting the keywords that you need to be found for, all this can be completely useless. Keep in mind that if you have links that are kind of uh, Consider like spam links, it will affect in a negative way of you know, your website and your rating as well. So let's take a look and see the keywords that you've been found for really quick. And of course, of course, your branding name, um, the ranking number four for that. Um, but there's a few that don't really make too much sense to me. Uh, for example, proper uh, shoveling techniques. That's something you, you want to be found for? Mm. Um, I'll have to ask you that. Um, then Raymond Page, uh, chiropractor, um, 20 searches a month, and you on the fourth page, and not really uh, relevant. Let's take a look on the second page. Um, St. James and the Broken Bones, something you want to be found for? Uh, still 80 searches a month, and you on the fifth page. So. Uh, you get the idea. There's no, there's no uh, relevant keywords. Uh, for example, chiropractor, uh, Long Island, New York, or Suffolk County, uh, things like that that I don't see here. And that might be one of the reasons why uh, content is so important. They, is your website is lacking of and the, and the key and the backlinks that you're getting as well. So, for example, like I was telling you. If I do a search of chiropractic Long Island, New York, uh, the first thing you're going to see here is the map section. This is an ad, so you pay to be here, but um, if you were to have your profile optimized and your website optimized, you can definitely be here. You can cover any area, uh, pretty much. I mean, I've seen people that they can travel an hour, an hour and a half just to go to, to a doctor that they really like, so consider that as well. Um, so, yeah, we have the top three here, and then we have the organic results, which is number one, number two, Yelp number three, which is a big directory. Um, this seems to be like a blog, so I'm not really sure. This is another blog that I've, that, that I, that I've seen. Um, oh, we have this one, Long Island Chiropractic and Wellness, and we're going to see why, um, and then we have yellow pages, this one. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, I don't want to mispronounce it, but uh, let's see why they're ranking this in this position. Let's see what it is. One, one, two, three, four, five, and six position. And why are they ranking there? And what would you need to start um, competing with this with this other website? So we pull out the website over here. And first thing you can see is that they have not much of a not not too much of a content, but it seems that this doing pretty much is doing enough for them to be found on that first page. So good news for you if you have more relevant content, you can definitely start um, 
our ranking this uh, this website here, but you can see that they have more pages, have a lot of pages going on, and that structure helps them a lot, so they can be found on Google. It's helping them a lot. Um, and you can see, for example, on not the all known forms, but uh, patient education, for example, here they can migraine. I'm pretty sure they have everything that they you know that seems here, but also uh, when it comes to content, they're targeting just enough keywords so they can be found for will do the job. If we look in the back end of their website, they're being found for 363 uh, keywords in comparison to you. Um, let's give it a second. You're being found for 189, but that's not the point. The point is that they probably have specific keywords that actually are relevant for their website. This is bringing around 119 visits a month to their website, and they have 80 patterns. Uh, in comparison to you, you have 550, and you can see my point here, quality over quantity. So this is doing just enough for them to be there. You will look at the keywords that they're being found for. Uh, Long Island Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. 40 searches a month. Because they're ranking number one, they're getting eight visits to their website out of these 40 searches. So a decent amount. Um, Chiropractor uh, Long Island, 60 searches a month. They're ranking number six, but they're getting three visits out of that because they're still on the, on, the, on the first page. So another thing to consider is that 67% of people that do a Google search, they only go for the top three here and the top three over here. That means that they don't scroll all the way down, not even going to the other pages. So you definitely are, are missing a lot of opportunities here, a lot of um, uh, of these search values, you can you know you can take uh, a little bit of percentage straight to your website. Um, here back to Long Island, New York, 40 searches a month. They're ranking number six. And they're getting around two visits straight for those 40 uh, for, for those 40 searches. And this is another thing: your website, you need, you want it to make um, appealing to uh, people that visit, try to catch them, like uh, call now, the uh, contact form. Or uh, some something related to that. Um, try to get to engage those uh, those visits to your uh, to try to convert them into into patients. So very important to understand. You can see that they're targeting the same keyword over and over on different sub pages, which is a, a really smart strategy for marketing as well. Um, to wrap things up, I don't want to take too much of the time. If you think we can help you out, we can definitely help you out. But but more important, if you have any questions about how all this works, if you have um, any insights on on what can what can be done that you think would be better, um, I can definitely help, uh, you know give you my my advice. Um, and if anything. Uh, just give us a call back or, or reach out. Uh, the information will be attached to the email, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.